Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name's Fiorelli and today I'm going to be stuffing our bills binder, our cash envelopes, and we're starting a new scratch off savings challenge and I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and count the money. So as a reminder, I use a combination of real money and prop money. Oh, I forgot. I also have my L bikes and my G bikes over here. So I use a combination of prop money and real money. Real money obviously is for the cash envelopes. Prop money is for the bills binder. So let's go ahead and get started. We have one, 200. Okay, I failed to mention that we should have a total of $627. So let's see. So we have 200, 50, 3, 50, 400. 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 81, so 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 600, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, and 27. I think that's the first I counted. <laughs> I counted without messing up. All right, so let's move on. We are going to start with our cash envelopes. These are the ones that go in my actual wallet, and then the ones in the binder stay at home. I don't carry them with me. So groceries is getting the usual 100. You guys, so one way that we've been able to stay under budget on groceries is basically eating the same thing week after week. And uh, yeah, that's getting so boring. So this past week when we went grocery shopping, I got on Pinterest, <laughs> I got on Google and started looking for like different recipes. So last week, the $100 didn't go all the way also because we bought some extra stuff for 4th of July. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to find new things to eat that will also help us stay in budget. But we'll see how far that gets us this time. My son is getting his usual $15, so 10, 15. So he has 10, 20, 30, $35 in here. Dates is getting his usual $15. Childcare is not getting anything. It still has the money that I stuffed in here last week. Our sitter is out of town, and so my mom is taking care of our son this whole week, so we don't have to pay anything. Um, and y'all, he is having a blast. Like, oh, he. <laughs> my mom sends us pictures and videos of you know of him throughout the day, and she's like making him all these fancy meals and she bought him a kiddie pool and they're swimming in the pool and they're taking him for a walk and oh yeah he's a spoiled baby when he's at grandma's house <laughs> so i got 15 so i got 10 15 16 17 dollars in here I try to make these envelopes pretty small and compact so that they would fit in my wallet, but sometimes I struggle getting the money in there. I mean, it still fits. There's still a little bit of room, but I don't know. It's just a user problem. It was not getting anything. This is like my, uh, just in case I forgot, you know, I don't have whatever. So that's still in there. You know what? That's not making sense because <laughs> I used to put $20 in my car and keep $20 in my car at all times but ever since my car was like broken into I don't feel comfortable leaving money in there but that's the point of this it's like crap I don't have my wallet or something you know um so I don't know I might have to rethink how I do this I don't know all right so these are the cash envelopes that stay at home my husband is getting Ten dollars. I mean, not ten, fifteen. So he's got ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six dollars. I'm actually gonna give this to him today. He usually doesn't like getting his money until like the first of the month, but uh, he's going on a bro date with my dad, so I'm gonna give him his money. My son, his money I put in my wallet. Gas today is getting $85. So 
20, 40, 60, 80, and 5. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 150, 156, and 157. Good. Um, I think I'm going to need gas soon, and we need to get my husband's oil change this weekend. As a reminder, this is 70 bucks because my registration on my car is coming up here in September. So um, we had extra money in here, so I just clipped it off for that purpose. Childcare is in my wallet. There's just a little bit of money in here. Yearly is in my wallet. His and hers is getting $15. So, $10.15. We have $10.20, $25, $30, in here. Because I love this vinyl. This is like, oh, so beautiful. I love it. Speaking of new vinyl, let me show you something. I'm going to add a few more, um, a couple more placeholder designs to my shop. If you don't like Harry Potter, then you're not going to care. But if you do, then you might care. <laughs> so Luna is my favorite character. So I finally just, you know, did it with her glasses here. I think that's so cool. But then I had a request to put Dobby on there. So Dobby Doby, tell me how do you pronounce it? But look at this. Oh my gosh, he is so cute in there. Oh no, I messed this one up. I didn't weed it all the way. Okay, this one's better. Like <laughs> so cute. I suck at putting up listings on my shop. Like, I really, really do. But I need to put those up. Alright, so we're done with this one. Next is the savings challenges. All right, so this one is finished today. We are stuffing the last amount, which was $7. So five, four, six, seven. So in here we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, and 2, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 dollars. All right, so I'm actually going to put this um I'm gonna put this to the side and I will be using this in my uh, sinking fund cash stuffing on my next video which should be on Tuesday so I'm gonna just add this to the amount that I already have from the bank and stuff it at that point so that means we are starting this one today I am so excited let's see and this is one of the um, designs available in my shop. Again, I have more Harry Potter designs. I just haven't like made them and put them up on my shop yet. So let's start here today. $5. Okay, that's easy to do. And I'm going to keep it there. This one, I made it with 5, 10, 15, and 20. So the first amount will be $5. So that's what we will stuff in here next week. And then I have this one. So I decided that I was going to add on a new savings challenge to my thing, but I'm not going to do it right now. This one is a pretty low one. I just did it since there are 14 spaces here. I just did one through seven times two because how I'm going to be funding this one is from my personal money that I get. And this will be added to my go wild funds. So I just did one through seven twice. So let's why not? Let's go ahead and do one. Okay. I actually do have change for this. Let me do that. So, five, six. And then in here goes my G-Bucks that I've already condensed, so they're not like true G-Bucks, but whatever. So we are adding 
One, two G bucks. And we'll count this at the end of the month. And then my son is getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven L bucks today. That's it for that. And now we are going to stuff the bills. All right, so rent today is getting $120, so $120. So we have one, two, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three hundred dollars in rent. PUD is our electric bill. It's getting $60 today. 50, 70, 80, 90 dollars. Verizon is getting 60 dollars today. 50, 60. So 50, 110 dollars. Safego is also getting 60 today. 50, 60. So this has 50, 70, 90, and $100 as well. Our debt and other small miscellaneous bills is also getting $60. So we have one, 50, 100, 10, and 20. 120. Our bills buffer is not getting anything today. All right, friends, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for being here, for spending time with me. On Tuesday, I will have a video stuffing my revolving funds, my long-term funds, and our house savings and emergency fund. So I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.